Hi everybody and welcome back to IFX Writing. I'm Coach Rachel and today we have a 30 minute low impact walk for you. If you miss any speed or incline changes, I don't want you to worry because we're going to have all that displayed for you to see on your screen and that'll be displayed right over here. And then if you look over to the opposite side of your screen, that'll show you this little nice long progression bar that shows you where we are from start to finish through the whole entire workout. Let's make sure we have a water bottle and a towel handy because even though it's a walk, even though it's a low impact, you still will get sweaty. So if you're ready to get sweaty, let's look down at that tread. Hit that start button in three, in two, and one. I got to hit the button. There we go. Here we go. Two, five, three, five to start. You're here for the warm up. Two minutes. Okay. So either one minute, two minutes. That's the name of the game today. It's 30 minutes straight of low impact walking. Low impact, no jumping. Softer on the joints. So if you are coming off injury, if you're new to working out, if you're older, if you're pregnant, perfect workouts for you to do. Just because you have all those things going on doesn't mean you can't work on yourself. And that doesn't mean you need to be skinny to work out, okay? Or that's not the end goal. The goal is to love the skin you're in and feel good, right? Working out should give you more energy, not always take it away. All right, two, five, three, five. We're going straight up to a two on the incline. In another 10 seconds, and then we pick up the pace for to a 3 0 and a 4 0. So you pick where you want to go. So give me the two on the incline, okay? 3 0 to 4 0. We're gonna start here. We're here for two minutes, it's just a hill warm up. We're gonna take it off to a flat road. So the way the workout goes, we walk on a hill, we walk on a flat road, and then we take it to a fast walk. So the hills will slowly increase. But the good news is, it's walking the whole entire time. So just breathe. Let it out. We're okay. I want you to go somewhere where you're walking, where it is a smidgen challenging, because you can, walking at a three and walking at a four are completely different. And if you're walking on the treadmill now, test that theory out. Take it down to a three, take it up to a four. One of them, you're almost running. One of them, you'll look like you're doing the moonwalk, okay? So, we're gonna take the incline down. Oh, we still have another minute left. Scratch that, wait for it, beep, beep. All right, let's check in with the form. So, when we're walking, I know we all been to gyms, or if you haven't, maybe you've seen people at the gym, they're walking, their, their treadmill is, looks like it's going straight up to the moon, but you see them holding on to the handlebars, walking like this. Walking like this. We don't do that here, okay? Nothing. Don't hold on to nothing. Pump the arms. Work the back, you work the arms. You think you're not doing much for the upper body, but you really are. Walking is a whole full body exercise. Squeeze the core, press off the back foot. Squeeze your glutes while you walk. You're rolling heel to toe, heel to toe. I know. See, sometimes, sometimes people don't know though. You don't know the right form for walking, that's okay. That's what we're here for. Just don't hold on to the handlebars because you're not a cheater. I know you're not a cheater, so don't cheat yourself. All right? Take it off. One on the incline. I'm going to pick up my pace just a smidgen. So taking my incline down a little bit, but I'm going to pick up my pace by 0 0.1, 0 0.2. After this minute, we go right into the workout, okay? So right into our first hill, which is the, slow, the, the smallest hill, okay? Three on the hill. The good news is, for the next couple minutes, you don't really have to change your pace if you don't feel like it. If walking on a hill starts to get a little hard, you can pull the pace back, right? Because the, heel, the hills are gonna get steeper as we go through the workout. So when the hills get steeper, sometimes the pace is harder to hold. So you can pull back just a little bit, point 0.1, point 0.2. Try not to drop it a whole point 0.5 under. You know, she's just saying numbers, it's so confusing. I'm not gonna let you fight, fail on this one, all right? So if it's confusing, I apologize. Take it one minute at a time. I know I saw, I like to cue before, so like you kind of, so for me, I like to know what's going on. We're going three on the hill, three, two, one, pick up that incline. Take it up to a three. It's 3.0 to 4.0 on the pace. So you, if you didn't want to, you didn't have to change anything. The pace can stay the same. The only time we're gonna pick up pace is after we get off this hill, we go to our flat road. After we get off the flat road, 
we take it to a fast walk. And that's a little bit faster than this pace right here, but you can handle it, okay? I'm going back to what I was saying before, taking it one minute at a time and just kind of living here in the moment. I know I like, like I said, at queuing before, just to kind of give you a heads up so you're not like squirrel and then you miss the incline, you know? Just to let you know that there, there's change happening, but stay here, stay in this minute. We have one more minute on this hill and we then take the hill off to a one. So just breathe, enjoy, slow impact, right? You can dance it out, you can use hand weights if you want, but this is one of those workouts where you just feel nice after. Feel a little lighter, got a little sweat out, you picked up your endorphins. This is the one where you're like, I only got 30 minutes in, I got a really busy day, I can't go crazy, but I need to do something. This will pick your energy levels up and help you finish out that day. Yeah, baby, let's go. 30 seconds. I love walking. And when I get a walking workout here, I get so excited. I'm like, I get to walk today. Walking in the boot camps. If you haven't done any of the boot camps, tomorrow I'll do a boot camp. Try it. I think we have like all the way up to, I think we have a 20, a 30, and a 40, maybe 50. I don't know if we have an hour yet, but there's a, something for everybody. Give me a one on the incline. Take it off that little baby hill. <sighs> Here for a minute. And then after this, we're just gonna pick up the pace a little bit. So know the difference too, if you're newer to the tread workouts and you're starting off with walking, one foot, heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe. There's like constant connection, all right? Know the difference between a walk and a shuffle. If you're starting to do this, the pace is a little too high, okay? We wanna make sure we're walking. Squeeze the core, pump the arms, 20 seconds. And now all you gotta do, we go three, two, all right? We go three, two, two, or four, or five. So four or five for me is a shuffle. I'm putting a boogie in that step, okay? Three, two, pick it up. Add on maybe point two. Maybe point two. You don't want to start shuffling. Maybe if you want to and you're more advanced, you can start to shuffle, take it into a light jog at four or five and let this minute be a little bit harder than the rest of them. But if not, it's just a fast walk for the rest of us, okay? So from here, stay strong for 30 seconds. We're okay. In 30 more seconds, we're gonna shoot that hill. The incline goes up to four. Our pace can come back down. Three, zero, four, zero. In 20 seconds. Right, the hills are getting steeper, but now everything is the same. You, you got the sequence down. We're not changing the sequence. Only thing that's changing from here to the end is the hill. We increase the incline. Three, two, one, three, oh, four, oh. Let's go four on that hill. Walk it out. Squeeze the glutes. <sighs> Freeze. Good job, team. That's round one, done. We're doing that one. Let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, so five more times. Look at that. Five rounds, the same thing. Walking on the steep hill, walking on the flat road, fast walk six rounds. One of them's already complete, baby. How are we feeling? Feeling good? No. Okay. okay. You got one more minute. One more minute on your hill. And then you take it to a one on the incline. One on the incline. One on the incline. Get an extra shoulder workout, you know? See, even when I do that, I'm picking up my ankle. <laughs> Ow. 
I'm moving up the hill, baby. My incline just went up like two notches. 30 seconds. So you should be okay, right? You're good. You're alive, you're breathing. It's all starting to make a little bit more sense to you because I can tell you right now, I'm so adamant about kind of like giving you the roadmap. If I don't really know what's going on in a workout, it's like a high stress situation for me. Like, I don't know what's going on. They're not telling me. I got to trust them. All right. I want you to be surprised, but also equally trust me as, as, uh, as much. Get ready. Take it to a one on the incline. And keep the pace the same. To know we're going to push you. We're going to keep you safe. <laughs> we'll push you, but keep you safe. Got you guys. Low impact workouts are like new age, man. How many of you guys are trying to get back into your fitness and you're like thinking about burpees, squat jumps, things that involve knees, <laughs> backs, and you're like, I don't know if I got it in, in me anymore to move my body like that. That's why we start with these low impact workouts, right? Try not to put a lot of pressure on the body. Try to move it, work it out. What's happening on here? All right, 10 seconds. We take off that. I mean, we don't touch the incline. We just pick up the pace. Should be. Let me double check. Oh yeah, we take it down to a one. Take it down to a one on the incline. One on the incline. We already did that. Now pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. Three, two, four, five. Three, two, four, five. I get it together, okay? I was just jabbering my jaw. Jabbering my jaw. Gonna make you walk fast for an extra minute. I don't care. I don't care if you are. We're gonna do it, okay? Not the worst thing I've done to the day. Just walk. Listen. Just trust me. <laughs> trust me. 20 seconds. All right, so should we add your 3 0 to 4 0? We're taking it to our fast walk. Oh, no, see? I was right. Sometimes I'm just so bad. Five, four, three, two. Pick it up. Let's go. Three, two, four, five. Three, two, four, five. Pick up, please. I gotta trust myself. You were doing it right, Rachel. You freaked yourself out for no reason. It happens. Live TV, baby. <laughs> Let's walk up that hill. You know? I'm like a little freak out mode to get the adrenaline pumping. Just keep walking and having a good time. Let me know in the comments. Let me know. If you're like coming fresh, coming in fresh, right, on these workouts. All right, we got 20 seconds. Now we're going back to the hill. It's actually a hill. It's actually happening. It's a five on a hill, baby. We take the pace down to a 304 oh, in 15 seconds. A little bit off the pace. Pick up the biggest hill so far. We're going to crush it in five, four, three, two. Back off that pace a little bit. Pick up the hill. 5 0 oh, on the hill. I think we go to an eight. Maybe lucky number seven. Now we go to an eight. All right, so we have five. We have six, seven, and eight. So now you know. The more you know. Let's go, baby. Starting to feel it, right? Now that hill, you feel like you need a little bit of a wider stride to push off that back foot, engage the lower glutes. Sometimes you just gotta squeeze your own butt, make sure they're working. 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 90 seconds left, let's go. I like that asked before what type of music you guys listen to. You guys did put some stuff in, but let us know. Maybe we do like a country themed run. I don't know, like a musical themed run. We could, the options are endless. Or walk, whatever you want to do. Pump out those arms. Guess what? In one minute, after we get off this hill, we're officially halfway through the workout. 50 more minutes. 
<sighs> How you feeling? Feeling good? Good. Now, in the second half, you know what's coming. You have the roadmap. You know that the only things that we're actually changing is the increase of the incline on the hill portion of our walk. But is this pace too easy? Right? If you are 15 minutes in, you will have zero sweat on you. You're like, oh my God, this isn't even working. I don't know, it's not working. Take it, one on an incline right here, take it off. I want you to add on 0 0.1, 0 0.2 on every walk, like every pace that you pick for the hill, for the flat road, for the fast walk, pick it up. Just 0 0.1, 0 0.2. I'm not asking for like 0.5, right? Just a little bit of a pickup will make a little, a little bit or a lot of bit of difference. Start to feel it in the core, pumping the arms. 30 seconds, we just pick up that pace. We go three, two, four, two. And 20. Yeah, this walk and the fast walk go by fast. Anything over a minute, you start to like go into La La Land. Anything under a minute, you're like, what? It's over already? Unless you're planking for a minute, and then for some reason, that minute feels like an hour. Pick up the pace. Let's go. Three, two, four, five. Three, two, four, five. One minute here. Let's keep the party going. All right, so 45 seconds from here, and then we take it to our six on the hill. The pace comes down, 3040. The hill comes up, inclined to a number six. 30 seconds till we get there. Good, we're three rounds done, three rounds to go. Doesn't get much harder than what we've already done, okay? It does get a little harder, but not much harder. I want you to know that you are okay and you are going to finish. These hills are just two minutes at a time. So for two minutes of your life, push yourself out of your comfort zone. Here we go, five, four, three, two, take it down. Three, oh, four, oh, six on that incline. No hands on the handlebars. Two minutes right here. Let's work it out. After a while, when I walk, maybe it's just my walking form, I start really feeling it in my inner thighs, my hip flexors. So that constant, like I said, when you're walking I'm on a hill, I'm always thinking about my form, right? Squeezing my glutes, squeezing my core. Mind to the muscle. Staying connected. A lot of times we start to run or we start to walk and we go into like this place, right? We can, we're doing one motion, it's not really hard, right? It's the same thing. You can kind of do it without thinking. So then the brain starts to go places. It's true, it happens, okay? You give me one more minute on this hill. So what we want to do when we're working on, we're having this time devoted to us, eliminate the distractions because the brain's gonna go where it wants to go. Usually, it's not a good place, right? You start thinking about work, what you gotta do after this walk. You're, maybe you hear the dryer go off in the middle of the walk and you're like, I gotta fold this laundry, <laughs> you know? The things, like the baby's crying. That I understand if you have to stop your walk for, but you know, they just stay here if you can. Stay present in the moment understand what you're doing and why you are doing it when you start asking yourself or putting it into that perspective this becomes your safe zone becomes your place of enjoyment we take off that incline to a one in three and two and one this isn't a chore that you check off those lists this is the part of your to-do list you circle and start because you can't wait to get to the part that's what your fitness journey should be. It should be fun. It should be exciting. Yes, it should be challenging. 
right? Because if it was too easy, trust me, you would start to check it off the list and not circle it with the star. You'd be like, it's too easy. I just do it to do it. Do it because you want to do it. it. Makes you feel good. And every time you kind of doubt yourself, you prove yourself wrong. Nothing better than that. Get ready to pick up the pace. 20 seconds. We go. Get to flip the page. Three, two, four, five. And seven, six, five, four, three, two. Pick up the pace. All right. You guys know we only have two more rounds. 20 minutes into it, 10 minutes left. We go seven on the incline after this. I know the last two hills really should be challenging. You really should feel every push off that back foot. Should be painful, but you should feel like the glutes, hamstrings, the quads, everything's engaged. 30 seconds. And if they're hard, remember why you're here. Because that reason should keep you motivated. Let's go. 18 seconds. I meant to just say eight, but then I realized we had an extra 10 to it. It was like 18. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Good. Take a little pace off. Three, oh, four, oh. Let's go. Seven on the incline. Lucky number seven, seven chakras, seven energies, seven, seven, seven. Good luck number, right? All right, let's walk up the hill. Drink some water too. Stay hydrated. Let me tell you, sometimes you be like so hot, got dragon breath when you're working out, a little bit of water. Feel like you get you feel like a new woman. Stay hydrated, people. You know dragons out here. All right. But yeah, about a minute and 20 seconds left. Just pumping it up, walking it out. Remember, we're gonna take off the incline and just stay on a one on that hill. Feeling the quads? I feel it when you're new to walking, ooh, and you especially you're walking on these hills, you get like the um, soreness and like the ankle part area, right? The front side, the back side, and that burns. It'll go away, I promise. You gotta work up the muscle a little bit. But I remember that. Don't get discouraged about that pain, okay? The more you walk, the easier it will be. But if you're feeling it right now, you're going through it, okay? You're going through it. But you're not gonna quit. It's a little ankle pain, a ankle burn little calves, side ankles, Achilles tendons areas. 20 seconds, you got it, you got it. Last 20 guys. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's go. Incline goes from a 7 to a 1. That's it. It's the only thing that we change on this one. You guys ready for that last round here? The last round. Keep working. Mm -hmm. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. We're gonna pick up the pace. Three, two, four, five. In 25 seconds, when the beat drop, go. No, just kidding. But the beat was dropping. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, pick up the pace. We have one more round after this. So get your head in the game. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go. Three, two, four, five, pick it up, stay alive. One more round after this, all right? Then we have our cool down, and then we're out of here. We walk two minutes on our hill, steepest hill. Eight on the incline, no ifs, ands, or buts. You're not gonna put it on a seven, 
right? And pretend like you went on the eight. You're not doing that. You're saying the number is eight. We go to eight. The number is two minutes, not a minute and 40 seconds because you want to take it off early. Nuh uh. It's those slow little things that you do that make or break your will. And not just here, everywhere, right? You pick something, it's there for you. Don't quit it. Even if it's 10 seconds, even if it's two seconds, you don't quit. We take off the pace in five, four, three, oh, four, oh. Eight on that incline, take it up. Here we go, grand finale workout here. Last round, get it done. Come on, come on, come on. It's a song for me. Up that hill, let's go. As I get older, I'm much more comfortable singing out loud, even though I'm terrible. I don't know if it's the age. Let's go, team. A minute and a half. I can feel myself doing it, too. I'm starting to walk like Sasquatch because I'm getting a little fatigued. I want you to stand up tall. Keep those hips underneath you. Move the legs faster. Pump the arms with the legs. No cheating here. I'm going to check myself. I'm going to check you also. Sit up tall, pumped arms, no Sasquatches. Yeah, out of here, Sasquatch. Pick it up. Whoop, whoop. You ever see somebody dancing on the treadmill? And you're like, that looks fun. Let it go, guys. Still time to shine. All right. Come on up, 30 seconds left. Last round here, we just take it off that hill. Keep a one on the incline. 30 seconds till we get there. Start to feel in the hamstrings, right? Oh, we made it. You know, walking's supposed to burn more belly fat. Walking on an incline, just saying. If you think it's not gonna do much. And if you are, like your goal is to run and you're not there yet, don't be a hater to yourself, okay? Walking is perfectly fine. Let's go, take it off that hill. One on the hill, keep the pace the same. Where do you think you're gonna go if you didn't start from the bottom? You just gotta jump and you're all, you gonna run a marathon? So like even if like you wanna devote three days of this out of the week, you're like, oh man, but three days, I still can't run three days. Maybe start two workouts or walking. One is a walk with a jog. We have so many varieties that you could be any level and pick something. And majority of the times, the workouts you can make harder. There's a lot of wiggle room on each of the workouts for beginners and advanced people. The only thing I always say is you're not allowed to quit or stop here. That's how you're never gonna get results. So, you tired? Yeah, we're all tired. Get up and do it anyways. Get ready to pick up the pace. Last round right here, three, two, four, five. In three, two, one, let's go. Last minute, then we cool down. Look at that. Keep it going, keep it going. You got it, you got it. Keep working. Maybe twerking. I don't know, 30 seconds. Get ready to take it all the way off. Two, five, three, five. The last entire minute is a cool down. You can start at that three, five, then every 10, 15 seconds, go down even more till you bring your heart rate down. Don't keep it high and jump off the treadmill. Allow your body some time to cool down naturally. So even if you need more than a minute on the cool down, keep walking. Five. Four, three, two, flat road, two, five, three, five. Slow it down. Remember when we started? And we started here, two, five, three, five. And it didn't feel like you were moving in slow motion. It felt like you were just actually walking. 
And now you're like, oh my God, this place is a little slow. You did a great job today. Kudos to everybody, whether you're a beginner, you're, you're advanced, you only had 30 minutes, but you needed to do something you weren't sure, but you did it anyways. Give yourself a high five. Make sure you hydrate. Make sure you stretch, especially at the end of the night. You're in your bed. Lay down, stretch out the legs. You gotta get comfortable in the skin that you're in, right? Get used to moving it around. You guys did it. All right, this is our 30 minute low impact walk. I'm Coach Rachel. This is Ibex Running. You can hit that stop button and another five. Four, three, two, one. You did it. 30 minute low impact walk. I'll see you next time.